Welcome to Girl Talk. We're visiting with our guest today at the Pink Poodle on Odana Road. Yes, and the Pink Poodle, boy, if you need anything, workout wear, business wear, formal wear, you walk through the door, you're gonna hit pay dirt. Don't you agree? Shoes, yeah. furniture, everything. It's dangerous it, it, in it, here. It, it <laughs> is. Just accessories to dress up what you've already got. Yeah, yeah. make sure Absolutely. you come with enough time, that's for sure. Yeah. You don't yeah. wanna leave. But if you're worried about adding too much to your closet, uh, Beth and Joe are gonna help us talk about cleaning out our closets, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so we get to clear out some old things, make a little moolah, Make room for the new. Make room for the mm -hmm. new. Hey, right. sounds good to me. Yeah, I know. I always need to do that. I tend to hang on, you know, till the the uh, style comes back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. I do the same thing. I, I heard busting at the seams. I heard a rule where I've never done this, but I've been tempted to do it, where you turn all your hangers around the other direction, and then if you've worn it, you know, you put it on the right way, and then at the end of the season, everything that's turned around needs to go. That's a great idea. So you can actually He's see. He's kind of marked. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the season, you'll have probably, because most people only wear like 10% of their closet. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of making that statistic no. up, but that's probably me. <laughs> and um, we're the my same. That's my personal <laughs> statistic. You kind of get your favorites that you just keep kind of going back to. Yeah. It's so true. It yeah, when you find something that fits and works. Right. And Especially you after the holidays. Incorporating new things, and then you forget about right. that awesome sweater that you bought two years ago that someone else will still want. Right. With the tags on Absolutely. it. <laughs> right, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, and so with formal wear, uh, Frosty Ball's coming mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Uh, so if you need formal wear, boy, you can definitely Just find that. Mm -hmm. They sure do, yeah. Probably even something for Super Bowl. Super Bowl's coming up. <laughs> yeah, probably different attire there. Uh, I would but, think, right. but you never know. Don't wear your Frosty Ball dress <laughs> to the <laughs> Super Bowl party. You'll well, get dip on it, right? Unless it's green and yellow. That's I've seen <laughs> some green and yellow, though, here, too. They have sports apparel. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they so sure do. Everything. Yeah. You know, speaking of Super Bowl, I did read that it is the second highest day for U.S. food consumption. I believe it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's so interesting. The first, of course, would be Thanksgiving. Sure. Mm -hmm. Look how opposite they are. You know, Thanksgiving, we're gathered around the table, traditional meal. I blame football because I watch <laughs> football on Thanksgiving and I sit there and I snack while I watch football. Maybe they're not it's so different. It's football's right. fault. I feel like it's just far enough away though from Thanksgiving where you've like missed that big meal and you're kind of tapering off from all of your holiday and it's like, oh, wait, another reason that I get to, yeah. you know. Well, and Enjoy. somebody, a lot of times different people are bringing different things, so it would be rude not to try of everything. Of course, correct. You, you have to be polite. Have you guys had like the, the chicken wing cupcake? No. Oh my God, it's so good. So it's like cornbread, and then it's got like a, like a barbecue sauce frosting, <laughs> which sounds disgusting. Delicious with a big fat wing on top. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That's a perfect How football. Cute. If yeah. you're gonna have a cupcake <laughs> while you watch football, that's gotta be that cupcake. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well good for us. We have Dr. Bailey Nye coming in. <laughs> Eight yes. weeks to wellness. Yeah. She's going to give us some advice and tips on uh, trying to keep those New Year's resolutions despite the Super Bowl and uh, all the right. upcoming yeah. stuff. We need it after all that food talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> we do. We need some pointers, so that'll be very nice. Speaking of health, we have Sue Klein, Sue Klein excuse me, coming in. Yeah. Um, interesting topic. This is going to be really interesting about how plants can make our environment healthier. Yeah. And pretty yeah. it up. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's been so great. Great time of year for that, yeah. Well, the and gray. I'm inspired because they're Kirsten proof and I do not have a green thumb, so they will be able to survive. Easy life. care, anyone can do it. Yes. That's what we need, right? Right, and before we start thinking that she's just trying to sell us a bunch of plants, you know, <laughs> this is based on <laughs> NASA's mm -hmm. research that the plants really can uh, purify our air. And mm -hmm. what's cool, these are really common house plants that are available anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, are Kirsten proof? Yes. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, and you just feel better when you've mm -hmm. got real plants around and to our points here, I tend to steer away from them just because of the care, but if there's a mm -hmm. true benefit out there, you know, you can feel better, your air is more mm -hmm. pure, and they're easy to take care of, why not? Especially yeah, in the right. office, you know, when you've got all those electronics and different things. So right, I'm excited totally. to hear what she has to say. Yeah, yeah. looking yeah. forward to it. And you'll be looking forward to it too. We'll be right back. We have eight weeks to wellness next to help us stay on track for New Year's resolutions.
Welcome back to Girl Talk. Well, we're in the new year. Did you make a New Year's resolution? I know some of us did. The stats say that roughly about half of Americans make New Year's resolutions. The sad news is that fewer than 10% actually keep them. Lucky for us, we have Dr. Bailey Nye with us, and she's with Eight Weeks to Wellness. Thanks yeah. for coming in Thanks and joining us today. Me. Appreciate yeah, it. Glad give to us, have you. <laughs> give us some tips to get us on track. So Eight Weeks to Wellness is a mm -hmm. program that helps people achieve their a variety of goals, mm -hmm. right? And you yeah. and I earlier had talked about um, the wellness score. Absolutely. Let's talk about that. Tell our viewers what that is and what some of the parameters are. Yep. Uh, basically, what the wellness score is, like Janet said, is a series of parameters. It's actually mm -hmm. measurable um, subjects or categories that we're able to monitor in order to figure out how healthy you truly are. Um, mm -hmm. Examples of things like that are, of course, your generals like waist circumference, um, blood pressure, uh, things like that, but other ones that people aren't as familiar with is maybe where's your fitness level, so strength and flexibility screenings, um, neurological testing, things like that. So Important things. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so Dr. Nye, um, what is the average person's fitness score after the eight-week program? Basically, anytime somebody comes in and gets a wellness score done, they'll receive a certain grade, kind of like mm -hmm. a report card. Um, our goal during the eight weeks is always to increase that number by at least 10 points or one full letter grade. Um, but majority of the time, people either far succeed that. So it's either by one full letter grade or maybe two. In so just eight well. weeks? Yes. Eight weeks actually seems kind of quick. Right. Yeah, it's, right. it's a very mm -hmm. short time, especially when you break it down into, two, into the eight weeks, but mm -hmm. it's really about two months, so a lot of people can achieve high wellness goals in a short period of time. That's that sounds awesome. Great. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. less than two months. Hey, yeah, <laughs> everybody's got that. Yeah, absolutely, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to your health. There's nothing mm -hmm. really more important than that. And you're also with All About Chiropractic. And yes. So I'm sure you see a lot of misconceptions when it comes to health. Absolutely. So maybe share some of those big mis misconceptions that you're seeing. Well, the biggest misconception that we see is that most people base their health on how they're feeling. You know, that outward appearance of, well, that person looks healthy, or I feel healthy, I feel good, there must be nothing wrong with me. And the truth is, a lot of times why we do a wellness score, or why we we'll do certain testing, is in order to see how truly healthy that person really is. Because you can be building chronic diseases internally, um, you can be building allergies, headaches, um, poor immunity, and not even know it. So that's why it's really important to get these certain tests done so you can actually see where that starting point is, mm -hmm. where you where you need to start from to get to a certain healthier point. You have point. to have a baseline to be able to absolutely, improve. Mm -hmm. and absolutely. And that's what's interesting about chiropractic care is it actually addresses some of those internal issues rather than just symptomatic treatment. Absolutely. So. We try to be really um, intent on conveying that it's about more of that prevention mm -hmm. of um, sickness and disease as opposed to that reactive side. Right. I mean, everybody has a sick care system or a sick care doctor, but who's your wellness doctor? Mm -hmm. Who's making sure that you stay out of the, those places? More preventative approach. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I love that, who's your wellness doctor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah a preventive, pre preventive approach is definitely a smart way to go. Mm -hmm. So when we came in, we said that fewer than 10% of Americans are able to keep their New Year's resolutions and stay on track. Yes. Why is that? What are the big roadblocks that we keep coming across? A lot of times people just don't have that healthcare professional that is ordered to guide and mentor them through those lifestyle choices. A lot of times people just don't know where to start. Um, it can be overwhelming. Yeah. Absolutely. And so by getting a baseline, like you said, mm -hmm. Kristen, um, we can figure out where you need to go and actually specify this program directly for you and what you need. So is that how it's different than other weight loss programs that might be out there that people are working towards the resolutions? Absolutely, because the parameters that we test can be individualized towards your goal, we can actually help you achieve that goal based on where you're at and your own physiology, your own body. So it helps us, you know, It's not get one better size results. fits all. Absolutely. <laughs> and real quick before we go, do you have anything you want to share with viewers in terms of things coming up for the new year or specials you're doing? Um, as far as we're really not having any specials going on currently, but one thing is if you are even 
that's somewhat curious about Eight Weeks to Wellness is we do have an orientation that we give most Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Um, you can find us on our website, www.com, or you can call us at our office, which is 608-833-9445, and get scheduled for an informational orientation on the program. Thank you so much for coming in today. You can Thank check you. out 8www.com or check out Dr. Bailey and I on Mineral Point Road. We'll be right back with some health ideas for your home, your office, with Klein's Floral. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are filming here at the Pink Poodle on Odana Road. We're going to talk to the owners later about cleaning out our closets. But first, we're going to talk a little bit about how to freshen our homes and office. It's winter out. It's cold. Mm -hmm. I tend to keep it closed up in the winter, but it does get stale. So Sue Klein from Klein's Floral and Greenhouses joins us, and she's got the solution for us. <laughs> so we are hopeful you can answer some questions. Welcome, first Thank of you. all. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to have you as always. You've mm -hmm. beautified our set as <laughs> usual. But I'm very curious about this topic. So plants can actually help us purify the air. Talk Absolutely. to us about Absolutely, yes. And there is actually a study from NASA that shows plants are very effective at purifying the air and you know they're quiet, they don't use any energy, and they're pretty to look at. Absolutely. Right. Talk about going green as a way exactly. to, to keep your home fresh. Yeah, so the theory is that the leaves will absorb the toxins in the air, so then there's less for, that for us to breathe in. Sounds good to me, mm -hmm. and so, it's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> so how would I decide where I'm gonna put them in my house? So I need one in every room? Well, think about rooms that um, would be good places that like a lot of electric mm -hmm. electrical equipment offices are an mm -hmm. excellent place to have you know in your workplace as well your bedroom Living um, your yep home mm -hmm. office and all that mm -hmm. I can feel my endorphins just rising being around all this green it feels really mm -hmm. nice true. Um, I see that you have a couple different types of plants here are there some that are better to purify the air than others and well the study so, from NASA they? came up with 15 plants and I brought most of them here today, um, we have the peace lily. A lot of these are probably going to look common, but um, there's mm -hmm. the peace lily, there's a Chinese evergreen, there's pothos, also called devil's ivy, um, philodendron, there's a lot of different varieties of those. The ivy is actually really good as well. Um, the, there's This plant here is called the snake plant. Uh, Mother-in-law's tongue is another name for that. That one's very good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so there's a lot of choices. There are a lot of choices, yes. That's wonderful. And in terms of, we've got a lot of options and they're all very beautiful plants with nice mm -hmm. big leaves. They are, yeah. Absolutely. Are there some that are easier than others to grow? Most of them are pretty easy, but if you're kind of worried that you're going to kill a plant, I would suggest starting out with this peace lily or the snake plant over there. Okay. And the peace lily is one of my favorites. If you're not so good at watering plants, like me, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> me too. They they will drop their leaves will just kind of go down and then you water it and they just perk right up and they are like the easiest plant in the world to take care of. The oh, cures to right. yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So like a lot of living rooms or theater rooms where you have a lot of electric equipment, like some of those don't get a lot of sunlight. So mm -hmm. is there a certain plant that would do better in those types of areas? Sure. Um, the pothos, the, the viney plant over here, mm -hmm. that's the, the green and white one is okay. good. The philodendrons are very good. That's this one with the big leaves? That one, there's a lot of different varieties of oh, philodendrons, okay. but that is one of them. Yes. And then um, the peace lily and snake plant actually are well for that. Fabulous. So there's some good choices in there terms are. of lighting and mm -hmm. how much care you're willing to give. Yes. Right. <laughs> I feel like this is something I could go a little overboard on. Do you suggest having a certain amount of plants in one room or well, the what more the, the study, merrier? What the study recommended is one plant this size. This is like a standard size plant, a six inch pot for sure. every 100 square feet. So like the average home between 1,500 to 2,000 square feet, 15 to 20 plants. Yeah, that's Concentrated in, you know, like we said, the bedrooms, the office, the home theater, Plus type it just rooms. looks so nice. It's I mean, so pretty, and like in the middle of winter, yeah. it's just, it's like you have your own little greenhouse. What an yeah. easy way to, to, I mean, I show homes for a living, so I'm in houses all the time, but mm -hmm. what a nice way to, to make it look beautiful and also have the added benefit of having it purify your home. Right. Purify the air. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And 
for folks who are planning on coming in and, and taking you up on this great offer to, to purify our homes and our offices, there's folks at Kleins that can kind of direct us Absolutely. to. Absolutely. So a lot of people are concerned about lighting, like where, what plants are best for certain rooms. So if you know what direction the window faces, that's mm -hmm. helpful to know. Um, and as far as watering goes, most plants are pretty much average watering need, they have average watering needs, just you have to feel the soil really to feel when it's dry to the touch and then water thoroughly. So you water all the way through the pot, not just, you know, like a little tablespoon or sprinkle. anything like that. Yeah, you need to water it thoroughly. Juice there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, what a fun idea to just help us through these gray days mm -hmm. and keep our homes and offices a little bit fresher through the yes. winter. So go see them over at Klein's Floral and Greenhouses. They'll point you in the right direction and get your home nice and fresh. And stay tuned because after the break, we are going to tell you how to clean out your closet. So stick around for more Girl Talk. Welcome back to Girl Talk. Now, this is the segment you've been waiting for. It is January, it is cold. We're gonna show you how to warm up for the last few months of January. And we've got owner Beth Testa here at the Pink Poodle. How are you today? We're great. So glad to be here. So, first of all, you look gorgeous, decked out in your furs. And we're gonna talk to you a little bit about fur in just a second. I wanna talk accessories first. So chat with us, if you would, about some of these handbags that are behind us and what's, what's the most important? Well, um, people like labels. That's why they come to the Pink Poodle. We have um, designer sunglasses anywhere from a Maui Gym to a Gucci. We have Chanel. We have Kate Spade. Um, also, you know, the same girls are interested in designer purses. We have Tory Burch. We have Burberry, we have Prada, we have uh, Louboutin, we have Fendi, we also have um, Dior, we have a gorgeous Chanel bag here. That is so beautiful. Love that. Goes with anything year round. Feel. Oh, great. I love this Prada bag too in the corner. I want to show that off because this is so cute. It's got its own little you know, a little bit of boxier shape and what a cute scarf that comes with it. And then we also have another Prada bag. Beautiful. Doctor style with the handle. Doctor style, yeah, that's big right now. So that's great. So you can get all those accessories at the Pink Poodle for way less than you can get them retail, which is awesome. Uh, but I wanna talk, let's move on to the fur. So this is kind of the main event. You look just absolutely stunning. There's nothing warmer than fur. If you are tired of being cold, we have two to three racks of furs, anywhere from jackets, we have mink stoles, we have full length coats. We've sold a ton of furs already this year. The girls just are tired of being cold. Yeah. And we have strollers, which is knee length. And we also have some fur wraps and stoles. So there's a large selection. We also have um, from small to extra large and plus sizes in the fur. So come awesome. in and get your fur. So you can get any length, floor length like Beth has on here, which is just absolutely stunning. Or this, what do you call this length? This is a stroller. The stroller. Length. Okay. And, and then we've got the, the shorter as well. So let's talk about some other winter items that you have. Um, we've got some sweaters. And oh, I want to talk about boots first. I almost forgot. Let's talk about boots. We've got a selection of great boots here as well. So we tell have, me what we've got. Um, a distressed look, which is very popular this year with the tall boots. We also have leg warmers, which is in the accessories department again. I'm going to switch with you and let you get it in there. Um, everybody loves boots. You have to keep your feet warm this year. And the wedges are great for comfort and being in the snow. You know, there's not a lot of. <laughs> Ah. Boy boot, ankle boots, we have every type of boot you're looking for. They probably start anywhere from $19.99 and go up from there. Awesome. Great selection of shoes. If you've never been to the Pink Poodle for shoes, you have to check it out because they have outstanding selection. Now let's get to this rack too. We've got sweaters, we've got coats galore. 
So winter is far from over and we have all kinds of things here at the Pink Poodle to shop for you. These guys do a great job. So tell us what you've got on this rack. We're gonna have to kind of move through them quick, but this is great. So have um, winter coats with a fur trim, long coats, short coats, car coats. That one's gorgeous. This is a vintage coat trimmed in curly lamb that just looks Love that. I love those longer longer lengths in the dressier coats. That's just beautiful. And then we have, I call them the walk the dog coats. There's nothing warmer than a quilted down coat. We have gorgeous sweaters. And again, we have size small to 24. Great. So a huge, huge selection still. There's plenty of winter left as we know. Beth, great job. Thank you so much for pulling a few of these things together. This is just a sample of what they have. This place has so much to offer. We're gonna check out some men's clothes too, so we'll get Joe in here, hang tight. As promised, Joe is joining us, Joe Testa of the Pink Poodle. Thank you so much for giving us some insight into the men's world. Oh, thank you for being here once yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, we didn't forget about you. Joe is the men's guru, also owner here at the Pink Poodle. You've got a great selection of men's coats we do. here. Yes, we do. Let's show off some of your favorites. Okay. Talk to me about January these. Right here, there's a lot, of, lot to keep you warm. There's a wonderful North Face jacket, and you can find all styles here. North Face, uh, great brand. Cole Miller bomber jacket, a nice wool jacket of Ralph Lauren, this beautiful Burberry. Look at that Burberry. Coat. Beautiful. Rather pricey because it's Burberry, but then bring it down in, in price and you have a nice Claiborne wool coat with a hood. That's a great jacket for... Beautiful cashmere coat, overcoat. And then in simple sports coat arena, a nice everyday polo sports jacket. These are just samples of finds you'll you'll discover at the Pink Poodle. And then there's two jackets that I think are just really nice all-round jackets. They go with anything, including jeans. A nice corduroy jacket and a suede jacket. Great selection. And then sweater time. We're still in that sweater weather. It's still cold. Polo, simple hood type uh, sweater. Wonderful Greg Norman zip pullover. And then a simple Joseph Beautiful. Bank cable uh, sweater. Great. All really great finds. All really, if you're looking to to really stretch your budget, it's wonderful. So January is the time when we take a break from consignment. Yes. There's still lots of winter left, so there's lots of great winter clothes here at the Pink Poodle. Absolutely. And then be beginning of February is when we start taking consignment again. So this so is the time to clean out your closet. Is January is the month to start cleaning out your closets and bring start thinking about things that you'd like to bring to the, to the Pink Poodle. Absolutely. And put on consignment beginning of the month of February 1st. Uh, by March, we'll be looking at transitional. And by okay. April, we'll be talking about spring clothing. Perfect. So, yep. so, so start January's cleaning out time. your closets now, and then you can come in, get these great finds, and bring then some Absolutely. of your things in as well. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, I love the men's section here. Great place to do gifting. Great place to get things for your own closet. Come see Joe. He is the best over here at the Pink Poodle. And Joe, thanks once again for your expertise. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you so much for joining us right here at the Pink Poodle. A special thanks to owners Beth and Joe Testa for having us here once again and learning all kinds of great things as we always do. And thanks to our guests. Please join us next time right here on Girl Talk.